Hello royal folks, this is Ben and welcome back to Untold Royal Secrets where we unravel the juiciest royal secrets and expose the controversial truths that the media doesn't want you to know. So ladies and gentlemen, gather around and grab your popcorns because we've got a royal roller coaster ride for you today, where Montecito, the idyllic heaven for the rich and famous, was recently rocked by a shocking turn of events. Meghan Markle, the spotlight-hungry former royal, attempted a calculated pap walk for some positive PR amid the royal racist row. But guess what? It brutally backfired, and the crockery might be flying in the Montecito mansion. But hold on, before we dive into that cringe-worthy moment, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I've got plenty more royal family revelations coming your way that you won't want to miss. So now let's dissect this jaw-dropping episode. Megan, in her first public appearance since the explosive revelations from Omid Scobie's book Endgame, was caught in the act. She was spotted rushing towards her SUV, accompanied by a mysterious companion. But here's the kicker, she was not just walking, she was practically sprinting. As the do approached the waiting vehicle, keen eyes noticed a sudden change in the bodyguard's demeanor. Was he reacting to something? Perhaps the distant sound of Montesito residents expressing their disdain. It's not confirmed, but the body language suggests there might have been some booze echoing in the serene neighborhood. What's even more intriguing is the casual indifference of the Montecito locals. One woman seemingly unimpressed by Megan's presence strolled past her without a care in the world. The lack of fanfare and the absence of any enthusiastic waves indicated that Megan's attempts at blending into the neighborhood were falling flat. Let's break down the video frame by frame, the rush pace, the sudden change in the bodyguard's behavior, and the nonchalant attitude of the Montecito resident paint a vivid picture. Megan's attempt to control the narrative and divert attention from the royal racist row by orchestrating a carefully timed pap walk seemed to have blown up in her face, but the plot thickens when Megan noticed that the paparazzi were filming her. Suddenly, the fake smile emerged. It's a classic Megan move, pretending not to care about the scrutiny while orchestrating a PR stunt behind the scenes. The smiling facade, the lack of a stress patch, and the carefully chosen moments for paparazzi attention all scream calculated publicity move. Now let's talk about the infamous baby brain remark Megan made about Princess Catherine. In a throwback to a time when Harry and Kate seemed to share a good relationship, we see a stark contrast to the Megan of today. The alleged trashing of Kate in Scobie's book adds a layer of toxicity to the already complicated royal saga. Body language experts have noted a tragic air about Harry's demeanor in recent interviews. Megan's influence seems to have drastically changed him, leading to a rift with once close family members. The dynamics within the royal family have shifted, and Harry's transformation is undeniable. In conclusion, Montecito's serene facade was shattered by the loud boos that Meghan's PR stunt may have ignited. The attempt to divert attention from the scandalous revelations in Scobie's book seems to have backfired spectacularly. Meghan's quest for the spotlight, even in the tranquil streets of Montecito, appears to be met with skepticism and indifference. So, what's your take on all of this? Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's all for today's jaw-dropping revelation, guys. Thank you for joining me on this wild ride. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for more reality checks. Until next time, stay tuned, stay sane, and stay real. Thank you.